Now, you're the convener of the Teacher Education Network. Yeah? I am. Can you tell me, what's the main idea that brings people to your network? We are particularly concerned with those big questions. What kind of teachers do we want for the future throughout Europe and beyond? What are the skills, the practices, the knowledges that they need for a world that's increasingly diverse, there's a great deal of inequality, of challenges, multiple languages being spoken in often challenging context and that's particularly true given the last 10 years. It's quite a big area yeah. that you're covering, so can you tell me what's the topics which are coming okay. out in this conference? In this conference we've been talking about a wide variety of topics and themes that are emerging. So we've talked about teacher identity, how do you support, as a teacher educator, how do you support beginner teachers to develop a professional identity? What indeed does that mean? So issues around teacher identity within particular contexts, but also thinking about how those contexts changes and impacts on what happens. We've also been thinking about standards and quality and what those terms mean. How do you improve practice? Indeed, what does that, what does that practice and improvement look like in a performativity culture, as is often the case throughout Europe? We've been thinking and talking about what's happening in particular national and international contexts and how we might learn from each other. So yesterday I attended a presentation where um, the speakers were talking about innovative practices within their teacher education programmes as related to the national context, but the questions from others in the room was, well, how might that work in my context? And that's one of the benefits of the ESER conference, but the work from ERA, that we can learn from each other, that we can think about and listen to others talking about their teacher education practices. So how does all that relate? You say you've got your network, you've got a lot of topics you're mm. discussing. How does that contribute to European educational research? I think when we, when we if across Europe and beyond, teacher education is impacted by the national and the local context. Those policies are enacted in particular ways as related to the social, the cultural, the economic context. So what's happening in one country within Europe might not necessarily be happening or relevant to another. Actually, teacher education is very specific to those geographical locations and the policy contexts. There isn't a, a theme necessarily that's relevant to everybody. We've all got different interpretations so, of it. So in those terms then, what does your network really value in terms of educational research, in terms of how it benefits society? I think it's, it's worth saying that educational research within the field of teacher education is diverse. It's diverse in terms of its focus, its method, the practices, and also what comes out of it. Teacher education isn't just concerned with teacher education within universities. In many contexts and in many locations, teacher education is of course taking place in schools. And so a number of the presentations, a number of the activities are related to practice in schools. Um, and we're concerned and we want to include everybody within that community. Building on top of that, then how does your network contribute to ERA and to the ERA mission statement. As a network with participants and members from throughout Europe and beyond, then we're working together to share the research practices, to share, to share the outcomes of our research in order to, to build a, a community of researchers, but also to understand what teacher education looks like across Europe and beyond and how we might learn from each other and the different practices that are taking place. Okay. ML, can you tell me what makes your network unique? 
Teacher education is central to a lot of the research that takes place within that broader field of educational research. We all have experiences of teaching and, well, no, we all have experiences of learning and the teaching role, teachers within society are particularly important. How we prepare teachers for post-qualification employment is really important and it's different in all of the countries throughout Europe and beyond. Our network is central, I would suggest, to the research that takes place within ERA because the quality of the teachers impact often on the quality of the educational outcomes. Is this something that you and your network has done that you're particularly proud of? So I'm, I'm particularly proud of the work that we've done in supporting the development of educational research related to teacher education, but also the writing and the publication and the sharing of that research. Do you have connections with other national associations, with other networks? Can you give some examples? We have a diverse range of um, subject specialists, those who are focused on pedagogical practice, those that are focused on their, their subject or their, their knowledge. Um, and it also means that we have a lot of connections to other networks and offer shared and um, cross-disciplinary events. We are connected to the national associations. A number of national associations will come to us and offer and submit to do symposia and to share the research, but also to talk about the work in teacher education that they're involved with and how they might collaborate in other geographical locations. And I guess as a large network, you get a lot of submissions, yes. people wanting to produce at the conference. Yeah. What are you looking for in a proposal? In a submission, in a proposal, what we're looking for is, is a number of points. We're looking for a clear research question. What's the focus of this research? Why is it relevant now? In your context, why is it relevant? What's the theoretical background? What impacts on this research? And, and what do you either expect to find out or what have you found out? Crucially, we also are interested in why is this relevant to others within Europe and beyond? Now, forget the network for a moment. This is just a question to you. Okay. What do you like about ECER? I really enjoy the annual ECER conference. I, as a conference, I think it's particularly friendly. I think um, the European perspective is really important. So we can become very insular, especially when our work as teacher educators is often very related to policy and government direction and how we interpret that. And it's really helpful to look at what others are doing and to learn from others. What does the conference mean to your network? The conference is really important to the network because it's an opportunity to, to share the research that's been taking place, to identify emerging themes and opportunities within teacher education as a field, to reflect on successes and challenges and to support each other, to, to build a European community of teacher educators in order that we can ensure that those we're working with, that the teachers of tomorrow benefit from our collective European experience. And last question, is there anything else you'd like to tell us? I'd like to tell you that teacher education is of course important, that we're a fun network, that we're a big network, that there's a lot of events, that we're a diverse network not just from different locations, but in terms of our methods, our practices and our interests. And one of the benefits of the network is that we are open and welcoming. Um, I hope that others will continue to find out more about teacher education and join us. Thanks very much for coming and talking to us today. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about teacher education.